Hey everybody, it's me, Pam, Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I finally finished my other mini album made out of, put this over here for a second, made out of this paper pad. And I still have quite a bit of paper left. I have whatever's in here. And those are some cut aparts in there too. I have whatever's in there. And. I have these cut aparts, paper, cut aparts, border strips, these cut aparts, this paper, uh, some owl paper. Now, this is just uh, left over from the original um, album that I made. So, I still have quite a bit left over. I'm going to try to maybe make some cards out of it. But I, had, I did have quite quite uh, a bit left even after making the little one and I still have all of this in here and I have two pads of this so I don't know what I was thinking I think it, I loved it and I you know had to have it all right um put this in there all right so I did use a cut apart for the front and y'all saw me making my um cover well started well if you watch the, if you watch the video where I said I'm gonna make this cover and um, I'm rambling it's been that kind of a week for us all hasn't it anyway I had a, a little bit of trouble with the cover even after I put the the cloth tape in the corners it uh, I don't think I got the the uh, the cereal box I don't think I got it far enough away and it did crack but you see how I dealt with that problem there. I just put some, I had this black lace and that's how wide it was. Oh, I couldn't wrap around it. I didn't have any that was big enough to wrap around. Anyway, again, with the, with the cut apart for the front and the stars with the little, little dots and this star, when it, and I try to use every little bit of that glitter paper because it is expensive. Um, I cut it to where the, there's nothing up here, and that's why it, look like, it looks like it's shoved up under there, and I did that on purpose. And the back is just plain, the bit of that paper, and uh, open it up. I know it's a little far away. Actually, my camera is only like 20 inches or so from the surface, and I really hate, I'm going to have to figure out how to get it a little bit closer, but I didn't really want to mess with that quite yet all right um open it up it's a little stiff open it up and when i put my pages in of course you know what happened i got i got them mixed up i got most of them where they were going to be like three in and then i said oh man that was supposed to be the first page and anyway so i used a few more of my magnets i emptied out this package between the I had used a couple of sets out of it and then between this one and my other one I emptied out a package but I did order some more from Joanne I ordered three more packs and what's really funny about them is that they they'll magnetize together <laughs> there was a sale all right um of course you can see there's a little pocket here and a little little tag in that pocket and that's part of a border strip and this, I made it. It's magnetized. It flips up, but it doesn't go anywhere. It, it, you could, I guess something could be placed there, but I don't know. And this, I really like the paper, so I didn't want to cover it up. And I do have the photo mask, but mostly it's journaling. And then I used up some of the paper, making, putting the little strips there on the, on the bottom of the tags. Okay, and then you open it up. And this is a little pocket right there, a little journaling spot, and that, that pocket is real tight, but it goes in there, and a couple more of those little punched out sparklies, and this flips open, with, and it just had, it's just the paper. It was, it's really hard to work with small, with the small stuff. One of the cut aparts, and I made it just a um, pocket out of the, I had this little square of paper and this little square of black cardstock, so I just um, 
made it a little pocket to doll this up because that was a corner of one of those great big that was the owl paper where I got the owl of the other one the owl was real big and this is uh, one of the corners of it and I've used another corner in here too I didn't back that or anything because it was already almost too wide for the page and of course like I said they all have the little the little tags in them all right and then of course I love I love that paper so I don't do any I didn't do anything to it and see this page was actually supposed to be up front and the other side of it because you know whenever you're making them they're open on both sides so you can decide which which one is going to go in the binding and which one's actually going to show but that little bit of this skull paper right there it was it was perfect it had the two skulls on it I almost put something down here and I said no I'm almost I'm really almost done with this paper so here this now this is going to be another one of those why did I do that things and I could put a, another tag in there I've got tags and I still might do it but um, this is a pocket with a very very shallow little um, tag in it and then I just I put a magnet here and it flips down but there's nothing behind it so so you can actually put something in there. I put everything away, but um, ah, come on. Here's something. Like if you wanted to put a tag in there, it would actually still magnetize. See? So I thought, well, maybe. And again, it's like really I wanted to be done with this. And the tag. I just put the gray paper on the back. I guess I could have used like dark purple or something, but you can't see it. So, and then, like I said, use, trying to use up the paper, those little border strips. And this is, this tablecloth is, this is a tablecloth that I have here, and that's why it's got a big wrinkle in it, but um, this belonged to my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, she was 90 years old when she passed away about four years ago. Okay, this is um, one with a belly band on it, and then it is one of the cut-aparts, and I backed it with black and then I put the place for the journaling on the back and that worked out really well this was supposed to be this one was supposed to be here <laughs> yeah didn't work out and then this one that's a really tight little belly band right there and that's just decorative because it is so tight and it's the owls but there's an owl here and an owl down here so I didn't want to cover up too much and again this flips open to nowhere and it is magnetized but you know picture whatever you could just even put something with these magnets you could just put something in between and it would just stay because it would be magnetized and this one for some reason this pocket when I put it down um, the this card in there tag I guess I to call it I put it down in there and it wouldn't go down far enough so I had to flip it around I think this little decorative strip was catching on something so but they're all the same I constructed the pages exactly like I constructed um, the pages in the other mini it's just that they're a whole lot smaller I did I used the um, the binding on this one I used was the hidden hinge but the hinges, I only made them about a quarter of an inch long because I wanted these pockets to be deep enough to where I could get a decent tag in. If I'd have made it a half inch, the tags would have only been like this, you know, right about to there. So um, I used score tape, eighth inch score tape like on them, and then I put a little bead of the art glitter glue because it has that narrow tip on it. All right, and there, that was the my spider paper and I said oh, I gotta put something else on it so I had a little strip of this and I cut it on a diagonal and I just stuck that in there because again it's really tight but it didn't cover up anything except one little flower right there because I like my spiders and it it goes in there really tight I almost didn't have enough room to put that in there this is pretty cool page I like this one um, there's a pocket on it and I got my skull behind and it this one was made out of the gray, and it has um, the journaling. So I used the gray cardstock, so journaling on the back. And I did a couple of my little punched, uh, punched out dots. And then this one flips up all the way up like this. 
and then there's another pocket here and with another one of the cut aparts. Now I could have I could have backed it. I have plenty of room in there because I gave it the little gusset on the side. Um, and I just I punched out one a star out of this this paper here and put it up there. And then I have another one of my little glitter stars. And that goes down. And then I have another tag. Uh, and this one was this one's super tight. I gotta make sure I get it in the pocket. It was super tight when I got everything glued together kind of compressed everything and then flip it over and I had one of the six by six cut aparts had the owl on it so I just put the owl and uh, in this star in the in the little dots and this is another one of those it flips open it closes with a magnet and then so that is my second mini album that I made with the Mystic Moon paper pad and that's what it looks like up top when I was doing my um, my hinge system I did get just a little bit more on the back than I did on the front as far as spacing so like I said it's they're a quarter inch apart and the hinge itself is a quarter of an inch so it's bar it, it barely catches it only goes down to right about there you know just a little bit just enough to actually put the page there so there you go that's my that's my mini my little mini this time like I said the pockets are nowhere there and, uh, I don't know it was fun to put it together it's fun trying to figure out how to use the bits you know because all the little bits were all different sizes on a lot of them and just didn't know how it might come how um, it might come together but that's it it's three and a half by five and a half. It's made out of a, I don't know, my husband's empty cereal box. And somebody, um, Bobby, Bobby Fort, and I forget what his. Bobby, I'm sorry, I forget what your, your channel name is. I'll, uh, I'll think of it. What is it? Oh, I thought I had it written down. Anyway, um, he said that he was going to start using the cereal boxes, and he had a lot of them. And I said, well, once you start building on this, those are they get really hard once you start building on top of them they would get really hard and and the stiff even if you just covered it you know with um, the cardstock on the outside and the piece of cardstock inside it was it would still be really stiff because that's that right there you know so it'd still be really stiff so anyway all right there you go love fate destiny that was the only one that had a little bit of color to it in the monochromatic all black white and gray outside and uh, I didn't back it with anything I just popped it up on a little dimensional tape love fate destiny I saw somebody making um, videos and she was uh, you know don't jump don't jump on her I forget what her name was so she was making videos and she was uh, doing using a hashtag of corona creating I think so that's what we're doing that's what she's doing that's what i'm doing i'm creating while i uh, don't go out too much my granddaughter's birthday party was yesterday and we did go to it i i uh, i drove me my husband and my sister over there some people didn't come that have been there every year it wasn't her fault that her, you know, her birthday just happened to fall during a, a national crisis. And I wasn't going to miss her birthday. I wasn't going to let her not have her party. So we went. And, of course, we, we were careful. We've all been self-quarantining. And, and uh, so it's not like we were, we were fairly certain we weren't exposed. But who, who can be, who can be really certain? Anyway, I am going to start another mini. I uh, put that aside. My next paper pad will be, since Frozen 2 came out again, I got my Frozen out that I had gotten at Walmart years ago. I have, I have used a little bit of this one, but um, I think that one. Maybe I haven't used out of this one. I know I've used out of this one. 
yeah, since Frozen, I made a, um, a card for Bailey, I think it was. But, so, and this is nice paper, double-sided, so I'll be, this will be my next one. That I've had this paper uh, for a long time. Does it have a date on it anywhere? I don't think so. It's EK Success Paper, yeah, 2015, so it's five years old. It's time for, time for it to be used. So that's going to be my next, um mini album project I'll probably I'll move out of the black you know the black cardstock and I'll move into um, I have a, I have some pastels believe it or not and I'll just and I'll probably see if I've got enough to do one color of the cardstock and if I don't I'll just alternate I think it'd be pretty alternating the page to to match the the paper pad so that's going to be my next one hope you tune in for that one and I will hopefully Talk to you later. Everybody stay safe, stay busy, stay crafting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.